So essentially this young woman, this young woman, this teenage girl, uh, had her, her life was Jack from the moment that she was born from two Correct. to six, she was mentally abused, she, like a pimp, like she's had a really hard life yes. and none of that was taken into consideration when she Correct. was tried um, for her, in her trial. And it just speaks to the level of regard that they had, especially in places like Tennessee for young black girls, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so speaking of young black girls and the protection of young black girls, you have, we have, a po you have a post question that we want to speak to. Do we well, have a post question? Yes, have a post question. because one of the, so some of the things that, and sometimes I try not to go into the comments, y'all, I swear, I swear I do, because it just be a trap every time, right? But one of the things that has emerged <laughs> in this situation, as well as the R. Kelly situation that we're going to talk about in a moment, is this hashtag fast tail girls. So, so many people Never heard are of it saying, today. girl, so many people are saying that Centoya was not a victim because she, won, lied to the John and told him that she was 19 and that she, she was a prostitute. So they're like, clearly she liked it. She was a prostitute, right? Completely negating the fact that she was a child. She was mm -hmm. a child. So what child who is healthy and had a healthy upbringing is going to go sign up to be a prostitute. Why, when she signed up to be a prostitute, were we not wondering what's going on with this baby? We need to help her. Instead, we labeled her as a fast-tailed girl. And so what, what I'm wondering from you all, I had a conversation with my friends offline about this, is mm -hmm. how many of us subscribe to that? Like how many of us have called a girl fast? Oh, she just fast. She just black fast. Girl. She, yeah. Probably black girl. Yeah. Or yeah. She just fast, like, you know, she out here, you know, doing whatever because she's fast or even um, there have been situations. I know, for instance, growing up where um, we will try to control the girl. Right. So let's say you're at your house. You're in your pajamas because you're at your house. Right. And then Mr. So-and-so come over your uncle or your mama boyfriend or whomever. And then your mama tell you that you need to go put some clothes on instead of looking at Mr. So-and-so, your uncle, wondering why is he looking at you, 12-year-old girl? Why is he attracted to you, 12-year-old girl? So instead, we labeled a girl as a fast-tailed girl instead of dealing with a nasty-ass mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. As Black girls, we aren't given grace. We aren't given, we aren't given the luxury of being young. We aren't given the luxury of just being girls or just teenagers or just growing or we're often, um, it's exerted upon us that we are like fast. I've never heard that term fast tail girls, but as mm -hmm. fast or, or she wanted it or we're grown or mm -hmm. we're, uh, yeah, like we're fully developed. Like we are given the same grace as young black girls or young Latino girls. And that pains me. And it's like a, a five-year-old girl can be considered a woman. And I know that sounds far-fetched, but to some people, a five-year-old girl can be considered a teenager or a woman or something like that. And I know that sounds exaggerated, but we aren't given that grace to be a right. kid or to be a teenager. Um, we're automatically considered adults and consent consenting adults. And in this case, obviously a 16-year-old girl, like your brain isn't fully developed. The, the right. mental cortex in your mind isn't fully developed until you're 25, I believe. Yeah, 24, 25 or something like yes. that. So it's just, it's just, it, it's sad and it's unfortunate and it makes you mad that we aren't given that grace as young black girls to be black children growing up in such a troubled society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I can even, I wrote in my blog post before about um, my mom thought that my stepdad was abusing me my entire childhood. However, she married him and had him in the house. Ma'am, why would you have this man in the house if you think that he's molesting me, ma'am? What, what, how does that make sense? It makes absolutely no sense. And instead she labeled me as fast instead of dealing with the fact that this man that you're saying that you're gonna marry, now mind you, my stepdad never molested me ever, 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 ever. My mom got the issues. But if that's what you thought, why did you not do something about that and instead try to label me as somebody that I really wasn't? Because I'm just out here trying to be a kid. That's all I'm trying to do. It doesn't make sense. 
It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. And I can't, I don't have a response for it because it doesn't make sense. It's unfathomable. Fathomable, excuse me. Um, So, yeah, let's let's just see what what some of your comments. So, Jennifer said, it's like saying a woman was asked to be raped because of how she was dressed. Exactly. Um, Let me see what else we have here. Aisha said, I admit when I was in high school that I or my friends called girls fast. But I think as a teenager, I didn't know better. But as an adult, I try to I try to do better and ask those questions. Why are you doing what you're doing? Heidi said black children are denied childhood and innocence on a large scale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kay said my mom said that, but I think it was more making sure you are properly dressed when company comes over. Once you start developing, you should be covered up when men or women come over. Uh Right. Kiki said, it's sad that it's considered luxury for us when it is considered normal for other non-black females. Being a child and having to develop is not a luxury. Um, Kay said, I never said fast tail girl, but have said you are acting too grown. Oh, the comments aren't showing up unless I don't see them. They're, yeah, they're popping up. Uh, Monica said, okay. it is okay. disgusting that from birth we are taught that we are the problem and not that these grown men lack control and are never held accountable for behaving oh, right. appropriately. Right. Good point, Monica. That's exactly what me and Kimberly was talking about before the show. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah.